How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Play Rough. My my playthrough of Play Rough has been a little disjointed, you know, just kind of life got in the way. I don't even know if I'm going to go hunting directly fully for like the secret bosses or things like that. At this point, I think I just want to make sure I'm getting the full story. Look at those crazy shadow creatures. The little cat makes me like kind of sad in a way that there's a, a little kitty down there. That guy's not holding up too well. Torn apart. God, that's such like a simple straight up description. It's it's kind of brutal, horrible stuff. None of you look very happy. Finally, some backup. Come on, comrades, help me push them back. Bo, let's get out of here. Doesn't he need our help? I think he's one of those YPF freaks. Oh, we just got charged. It's three on three. I'll fire from behind. Plutarco Aregia. That's a lot of enemies, Bo. A word of advice. You can change your attack target by pressing the arrow keys after selecting a skill to use. Okay, that's good to know. Try to focus down one enemy at a time. Uh, I'm a little low on SP, aren't I? I'm gonna have to, like, remember how to do all my skills and things, because I don't really remember. Uh, none of that. We won't be doing that. Oh, I must have been doing this with uh, keyboard and stuff before, because I, I don't know the controller controls. <laughs> yeah, okay. They're, oh, they, they, these little guys, uh, <laughs> they're, they're so goofy. Juvenile, reckless, and contorted. I'm going after the juvenile one. I'm sorry about that guy. Uh, I guess I could try and... Uh, defense debuff makes enemies weep. Uh, reduces enemy evasion and defense. Uh, let's just do threaten against, like, the, the first one here. I think that would be simple enough. I... How much damage did that do? That that was not that much. A little bit worrying. Okay, he's doing... he's he, And he can attack everyone. Not, okay, not necessarily every time. Uh, but that was... That was decent, at least. I got, I got like, no SP, so I might as well just... I, I, I gotta remember the, uh, yeah, there's, there's the 1212, 12. pretty solid, it went okay. Half health? Okay, and I still got a lot of health. That, uh, Plutarco was suddenly not helping nearly as much. Regenerate SP and buff your defense, uh, yeah, I think, I think if I just swap the stances, that'll be the best thing to do right now. Yeah, get that SP back. There's the type of damage I was scared was gonna start getting dealt. Now we now we really gotta try and focus and get rid of some of these things. The nerves, the nerves are kicking in. Alright. Uh, surround yourself and allies in an invincible psychic bubble. That would be real useful. Sharpest weapon you have regenerates a little SP but removes your stance. Oh, damn. Uh, maybe I do just throw up a shield for both of us. Because I, I really do think I should just try to take care of that character. Like, get rid of them as quickly as possible. So, everyone's defended. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, uh, preparing something dangerous. That's going to be coming up soon here. Come on. Okay, good. We got rid of one. I think. I think. Did he have minus one health or one health? He had minus one health. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, and I, if he's preparing something big, then I'm guessing that also is going to mean that I'm about to get attacked really aggressively. So I'm going to try and, like, guard and heal up. Slams into you head first. Manage to evade, evade. Okay. Leaking. Psychic defense is gone. Bleeding is gone. Okay. That's uh, looking way better already. So, uh, neither of those... We're going full pummel, and I'm, I'm gonna focus it at, at that guy. What do we, what do we want to do here? Make enemies weep. I don't really know what that. All foes. Uh, maybe that makes them less accurate. I could. Oh, he's resisting that. So I should try and do something other than the A W A W. I bet. I think it said doesn't know where it's going. It, it, I, I always struggle with that in games like this, where it presents that information so quickly. And it's true of all games in the genre, not just this one. But just any that use that basic, like, style. SSW. Maybe I try and use SSW against, against this one. And let's just do a, 
a poke. Resisted all of it. So he, he, he might just resist all physical damage. Oh no. Moland is very injured. Uh, and I'm not going to have a lot of ways to, to heal him up. I can't, I can't just waste both your turns using crackers. I gotta, I gotta try and do something a little bit more. Loosens your joints, restores 50% SP, and trade defensive boost of boxing stands for evasion. Maybe just getting, getting that SP back. You regain HP and SP. I forgot it regains the HP as well, so I do, I kind of like need that. Oh, that's lucky. That's like very, very lucky. <laughs> Come on, Blue Tarko, man. You gotta be landing these now and again. Can't miss that often. See, it's weird, because I you you use SP to use these skills. But then you can still just use Pummel and use the skills anyway. I, I've never, like, fully gotten used to that. It must... See, it, so it's automatic, like, so it has nothing to do with your execution. But you can still do it at a cost of no SP, I think. That seems, like, too strong if that's how it works. All right, now, now it's getting risky. <laughs> I, I think with their speed, they would end up potentially attacking me. Did I, did I fail? Did I not use the cracker properly? Is, or is that how injured you were? It might just be how injured he was. God damn. Uh, fix your glasses again, I think. Uh, what if I just like do a random combination of things? It all gets resisted. So it's just not the right move. Oh, I lost my limber. Come on. Stop attacking him so aggressiv aggressively. Spread, spread it around. Spread some of that to bow, man. I need, I need you to split it up. Uh, the defense debuff, like I probably should have done that sooner at this point. I just got to try and, and get rid of it. And I'll, I'll do that on the next one, you know. Okay, okay. Bleeding everywhere. Not happy about that. Not good. But now I can at least use things like uh, threaten and like lower stats and, and hopefully make things a little tougher on you. Moland is very injured still. Oh, everyone's very injured now. Oh, <laughs> this is not good. Uh, I can guard. Like, that's not going to get me very far, but I just need you to stay alive for a second here, man. Uh, Alright, you use the guard. You use a cracker on Bo. Guard up. He's still... Cr minus crying. He's no longer crying. Oh, no! I'm so busy trying to keep Bo alive. I thought I had enough. <sighs> well, I think I have to go offensive now. This is bad. <laughs> It's preparing something dangerous as well now, too. Come on, dude. You gotta land a shot. No! Okay. We have to guard. Oh, there it is. Defeated. Full-on game over for that. Shit. Well, I mean, I guess that's just always what they're gonna call that. All right. I need you guys, like, better prepared for that. I think you have like all the best gear that it's it's like been optimized. I can't do anything about any of that really. Wow, brutal. Wait, what just I I went up through the the same tunnel that I went through before to get to that out outer area. Is this the seat? Did I just stumble upon the secret area through the hallway you go through many times? Or like, hey, human, you aren't supposed to be here. If I give you a gift, will you leave? Although maybe this is like scripted. Maybe it always happens after that first battle. Well, not first battle, but that that specific battle. You nod. The this thing has the eye on its chest, like the heavens gaze. Take this mask. And be gone. And also, Bo is like a child here. You receive a strange mask. Don't give it to anyone else. And also, the weird trees are gonna make me think of the Delta Rune tree. <laughs> Smells like cotton candy. The whole thing where you like find a man standing behind it. Get out. 
Oh, it actually, like, you can hear it does say get out, like, quite literally. I was just curious if I could anger it or something. There's not a good reason to want to do that, but I thought I would try. All right, well, what did you give me then? <laughs> uh, the nobody mask. Oh, very uh, spirited away. An utterly forgettable visage. Enemies target the wearer less often. I Like, maybe that's good? That would be your headgear, right? Shoddy plastic and mint condition. Oh, I can't, uh... Oh, I would have to change up the accessory. Slightly increases the chance of inflicting a status effect, but the mask has better magic attack and magic defense. Uh, luck way down. I'm, I'm gonna try it though, whatever. Maybe that, maybe this will be better than what I had <laughs> just attempted. Mm, maybe I should save after that, because I don't know how rare or unlikely it is to find that. If it's scripted, you're gonna find it every time, but if it's special, then yeah, I want that. I want that. <laughs> I want to be a special guy with a special mask. Hmm. The, the SP, I can't really do anything about it, can I? To, like, repair your SP out of combat? No, I cannot. Okay, well, I don't really know between, like, the juvenile, the, the contortionist, all those, which of these was, like, most dangerous. Yeah, I so was seeing if the dialogue changed. It didn't. Plutarco. Okay. Let's... Which one has the lowest health? It is two with the same. Okay. Then I think I will immediately go into boxing stance. And immediately try to weaken an enemy. Reduces enemy evasion and defense. Removes enemy obscurement. So first thing first, target this guy. I wasn't using target enough. And I feel like they were evading a lot, a lot, a lot of damage. Especially stuff coming from Plutarcho. So assuming that his attacks are affected by being targeted, then I want to make sure I'm making good use of that. Yeah. Yes. And then I will do a threaten as well. Oh, the big, big finale missed. What the hell? That sucks. <laughs> Yeah, I think, uh, well, that's too bad, because I, I opened this really strong, and, and now that's, uh, that's just like an instant loss there, because I just got wailed on. <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? Okay, so I, I started with the boxing stance and the targeting, but now I'm not going to pull up the threaten quite as quickly. I want to make sure that Woland is, like, healthy. Okay, there, there, I finally landed that, like, fully correctly. Uh, they're attacking both of us. A lot. <laughs> Too much, in my mind. Just c c lay off for like a second, man. Um, shit, maybe maybe I should use his uh, his psi bubble to try and uh, keep keep everyone alive is the main thing that I'm trying to achieve in that in that instance. So, better defense overall. Nice evasion. Okay, okay. Better survivability overall. I gotta. I thought I was doing a good defense by just killing everything. <laughs> that felt like a good solution. Oh, so you can't, you can't use it if it, you still do need SP. All right, totally understand. Uh, I can't even use one of these. I thought I would, I thought I would have like unlocked it. Oh, maybe it's because I have that defense up. Hmm. Well, then I think you should just eat a cracker this turn, probably. Oh, they must have. Psychic defense. Unhittable, but can't attack. Oh. I can't even fix my glasses with that. Okay, so that maybe was a bad time to use that. Especially when this thing is about to prepare something dangerous. Yeah. So that makes me think that that needs to be used at a very precise point in time to actually get anything out of it. And I have failed that this time specifically. So, let's just try and... Okay, okay, staying alive, staying alive. Come on, come on, Plutarco. Come on, you can't miss that often, man. If I, like, don't have a target set on him, he just misses every damn time. Right, fix your glasses, Woodland. Oh, just, just 
good. Just be rid of it. Just be done with that. Doesn't matter. Boxing stance gone. Noted. Both crying. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, I think you need to eat a cracker. Maybe I should have done a, a stance switch. You're so you're so vulnerable when trying to do like a stance switch. That's the the number one thing. Can't regain HP or SP. Well, then I think you better go punch this thing as much as you possibly can. Uh, and I'm gonna target it, even though it's like the last possible round here. God damn it. Well, I doubt the two of us can do it, but I might as well push. And see, yeah, they will use the target again, because that's the only way Plutarco can do anything. Uh, yeah. Oh, you're still alive? There. Okay, man, you were you were slow to do your duty. I, I thought you would have taken him out already by then. He's preparing something dangerous. Throw a guard. Oh. <laughs> okay, total disaster. Total disaster. Like, do I even want? bow to not be targeted as often like Molin just gets wailed on then I, I truly I need a third Plutarco you should step up front man and start taking some of these shots because I I really need to spread the damage here a little bit I wonder if leaking is the same as bleeding it's just that leaking is what applies to tunes because they don't have blood I kind of think that might be what the game is going for and I I think that's like an interesting little just way to yeah yeah I think it even shows there losing HP over time that is absolutely what it is then and that's a funny little bit of I don't know I guess consistency within the world to you have a specific status effect depending on if they're human or not the pushback I don't really know what the pushback does actually maybe that makes me less accurate or something okay where where do I spread my energy on this turn to hopefully live <laughs> My my aim here is low, you know. I'm not trying to do anything too fancy. Oh, good. Okay, he landed that attack very, very powerfully. Oh god! Come on, man! You always miss what I most needed. I desperately need a turn that I can dedicate to healing, and I could only comfortably do that if you killed that stupid thing on that exact turn. Cause now I don't think I can I don't think I can keep both of them alive this turn. God lucky. Come on, man. There it is. There it is. But Okay, but uh oh, I, sh I should have saved enough SP to, to be able to side bubble. Cause now now I'm now it's not gonna Guard's not gonna be enough, I don't think. Oh, it does a, it's such a ridiculous, insanely strong amount of damage. Yeah, so you have to, you have to, have to, have to get that Psy Bubble up in time for that. Oh my god, this is going poorly. Okay, so now I'm gonna, I, I'm, I'm a little, couple turns into this battle. I'm gonna switch from Boxing to Fluid to raise my evasion and get back SP so that I can use the Psy Bubble. Uh, Wolin has applied Target and, oh, uh, fuck. Well, <laughs> God damn it, man. I doubt I doubt the combination of just Plutarco and Bo with three enemies left can do it. Um, but you know what? We're gonna mess around and just see. Man to land that combo. Now here comes the dangerous sh shit. I honestly don't even- if I were to win this battle somehow, if I were to pull it out, I don't even think I'd want that because I kinda like need Bo a lot or Woland alive and then if I had the smelling salts to bring him back then I, which I don't have but if there's some that are gonna be provided to me do I want to instantly have to spend them like that would suck so it's kind of a lose-lose in that regard look how many negative things are weighing against Bo right now I I think I think this is a another loss for me though I don't know if I, I went into these battles with too little supplies or like like how? How do, how am I so weak? I feel useless out here.
I like cannot for the life of me figure out how to do any meaningful damage to the contortionist guy. I feel like I've been doing variations of the same thing over and over again, and uh, obviously it's not working. Uh, so I think this time what I what I want to try instead is I'm gonna like play as defensively as possible. Uh, I'll switch stances to gain SP. I'll guard heavily. I'll use the big psychic bubble. Uh, correct the glasses, and, and maybe now and again I use Woland for like a targeting and things like that. But for the most part. I am literally just gonna let Plutarco try to, to do the majority of everything. Uh, so oh, in this opening kind of phase of battle, I'm, I'm leaving myself quite exposed. That's fine. I don't care. I don't care in this stage. You've got that target on you. You go worry about that shit. <laughs> uh, I think I will use the Psy Bubble immediately even. Because then I, I just will be safe for at least a second. Or mostly safe. They potentially can still do damage. And at, at status effects, I think, for sure they can apply. Um, but I'm pretty okay with playing a coward's game for a, at least until we get one, maybe two of these things killed. Yeah, this is seeming viable so far. He's not the most reliable, but he is doing okay. <laughs> so I, I, you get to, you get to stay in front for, for now, man. I will fix glasses again on you, sure. Oh wait, there's something dangerous is coming. Now is kind of what I was anticipating. It's, it seems to always be X number of turns in the battle, whatever it is. It's like four or something. So we're psi bubbling up again. <laughs> You can just continue. Actually, um, extremely dangerous. I don't. I don't know if you're accurately, properly threatened. Uh, s still. So I, I want. I want to apply something. Oh, see, maybe because of the psychic defense, or Roland just hasn't had his turn yet. No, I think it stops. I, I know that you can't attack when the shield is like up, but I thought if you selected both in the same turn, it would still happen. It does not work that way. So, uh, yeah, I, I have kind of waste Wolin's turn when I do that. That's okay. All these evades and things. Everyone, th this is way deeper into the battle for people to be staying alive. This is good news. Okay. Fence gone. Do I want to try to... Maybe, maybe now is the time. Oh, instead I could just boxing stance. And, and target that guy again. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Keep, keep the SP high so it's there when you need it. Oh, shit. It's just a, it's a lot of damage dealt. That's making me a little nervous. Focus on living. God. Duh. You'd leave your guard down for like one turn, man. Uh, we are both contributing to keeping you alive here, Ro Woland. Damn it. You couldn't kill one fucking figment <laughs> before Woland died? <laughs> Come on, man. Ah, uh, that sucks. Ah, uh, now I gotta get in there and show them how it's done. There! One gone, at least. Holy shit. <laughs> I can't, I can't believe what a razor-thin edge it is with, with your health there, like... Woland was so, so near. <sighs> well, uh, right, I, I guess I'm stuck behind that for a little bit glaring at us I think I think I pull up a, uh, a stance to get the SP back he's throwing that nervous out there uh, yeah I have some SP to spare a lot of evasions and things oh I didn't even get the big combo at the end he's not hitting him like at all 
still glaring. I think the next turn is when he'll bust out something big, probably. A defensive boost traded for evasion. So I'll have high evasion and Psy Bubble. Like, this is this is doable. This was the correct strategy. Just play this more defensive. Uh, but goddamn. D d could, if you just got unlucky on like one stupid turn where they they all target Woland and they all hit at the same time or whatever, that's it, you know? And it just, oh my god. That's all of them. Thanks, amigos. You better help us out here, man. We, we put our life on the line for you. They both leveled up. We're number one. We're number one. We're number one. I feel a migraine coming on. New skills, shove and teep. Lots of new stats. N new skill execution. My mind grows sharper. Anything expensive? Well, we got six bucks. Oh, I, I well, I hope I took everything. I meant to in inspect that much more directly. Well thought, amigos. I would have been... You're... You're not with the YPF, are you? Is that a problem? I, uh, well, the captain wouldn't be happy with it, but... Uh, what the hell? YPF or not, you guys saved my ass back there. I won't tattle. Hell, feel free to rest at my campsite. It's just down the road. If you want, I mean. No pressure. Well, will it revive anyone from the dead? That would be... That's kind of what I'm looking for out of a campsite at the moment. That went surprisingly well. It's probably a trap. Let's get moving. We're almost there. Uh, we do kind of have to go check it out, though. The Silver Spoon... And the quack salver. Okay, let, show show me your new skills. Shove ass. <laughs> a weak move that sets enemies off kilter and opens them up for attacks. Okay, so it, it's an attack and it, it uh, weakens people. It costs a lot of SP. And SDS, an unorthodox kicks that can rarely make enemies fall, does very little damage. And Woland, your execution. Earthbound stabs that mutilate a fallen foe. That's got to be an intentional description. So much exercise dazes you, though. Mutilate a fallen foe. Oh, what? Oh, so if you knock someone down, then execute. Like, if you teeped them and then use execute, I think. That's kind of nuts. Hardcore, isn't it? Smelling salts I did get. I can bring them back. But I'm going to double check first and see if the campground will bring me back. Uh, nice for healing, rock candy, also for healing, weapon, armor, uh, the violet tie or musty cloak, were those new? Stitched together from old lab coats, it stinks faintly of urine, moth bitten and virtually worthless, it smells like dust and formaldehyde, I, I, I still have Pee Wee with me, stat poster one and two, I, I don't know about, I, I, I closed that menu kind of quickly, so I hope I, I didn't miss any important components there. Yuka Hiramanie. Oh my god, they're all just like moaning down there. Irreparable brain damage. And everything else. Everything damage. Body damage as well. Bisected. Hey man, you uh, you wanna give us all a heal? Oh, you actually came. All ready to hang out? Hell yeah. Yeah, brother. <laughs> uh, I guess, I guess we'll be pals. Those nips are just blasting, aren't they? Warming them up by the flames. Beautiful night, isn't it? I've seen better. That's a shit attitude, man. But I guess I've seen worse, too. Oh, they're all just genuinely enjoying themselves. What are you YPF people doing up here anyways? Honestly, I don't know if it matters anymore. The captain sent some of us to keep those awful figments contained, but, well, you're not blind. You've seen the bodies. He keeps saying he'll radio for reinforcements, but I'm starting to doubt that we have any. Jeez. Uh, anyways, uh, anyone want a beer? Eh? Yeah? Eh? Yeah? I, I don't drink. Uh, believe in yourself. Give up? <laughs> it's a strange branch of dialogue. You should have faith in yourself, dude. You're not a bad shot with that bow. 
I bet you could totally crush any figment that gets in your way. You really think so? Bo's right. You're a tough guy. <laughs> you folks are too nice. Besides, it wouldn't be fair to my comrades if I gave up after all this. In their memories, I have to hold this line, even if it costs me everything. Bo and Woland continued their pep talk late into the night. And the rest healed your mind and body. All the way? All the way from dead? We'd best get going. Wolin's right. Thanks for having us. It was nice to not be alone. Stay safe out there, friends. Oh, good, good. I didn't even have to use up my, uh, my smelling salts. That was very much what I was hoping for. Don't worry about me. I can handle this mountain on my own. The smoking embers.